All right, y'all, today it is three months. Uh, we are gonna walk to the bathroom right now because it is three months of our lifestyle change, diet, intermittent fasting, exercising on the reg, and we're about to see some great results. So stay tuned. We are weighing in at 197.0. what up everybody so uh, right there you had it you actually uh, seen kind of like all the progress that I made in the last 90 days uh, which is uh, I think uh, amazing so I am super proud of that and I am uh, only looking forward to the next uh, 90 days or next 180 days or you know clean that full year and that's the goal so what I want to talk about is what are the four things that really changed in the last 90 days. So there are four things that I actually changed in my lifestyle. And the, the first one being is I started with intermittent fasting. So with intermittent fasting, uh, generally you have a 16 hour period uh, or a 18, 20 hour period of not eating throughout a whole day. I did uh, personally the 16 hour period. So. 16 hours of the day just only drinking water or black coffee or tea. So the other eight hours, I eat two larger meals. And we'll get into that. So uh, basically, uh, able to have those two meals, uh, which is very convenient for me because I'm very busy. And uh, it's not easy for me to have five meals throughout the day. Uh, so normally, I would uh, fast in, uh, starting till about 12 o'clock, 11, 12 o'clock and I would eat between only 12 and eight. And uh, that's 16 hours without eating, and it really helps burn fat. Um, so that's one of the things that I've, actually, that I've actually done. So the next one is diet and macros. So I hate the word diet, um, I really do. Uh, I think the word diet is kind of like lame because you know a diet only lasts for so long where if you want to really change some things you need to you know really figure out your macros and figure out what you enjoy so when I think about that so I think about the foods that I, I have been eating so I'm gonna go through and show you guys some food in, in just a minute but uh, I want to talk about uh, calculating your macros you have to figure that out you have to figure out how much fat how much carbs and how much protein your body needs so I chose uh, 20 percent fat 40 percent carbs and 40 percent protein uh, which i think uh, worked really well for me um, I, I generally eat around 200 carbs and protein and around 50 to 55 grams of fat it was a little more at first but then i started losing weight so um, i also cut that down um, so right now um, i'm on a 2200 calorie ish diet um, so uh, that's a deficit so for fat loss you always have to be at a calorie deficit so if you want to maintain um, you might be at 2500 but if you want to be uh, fat loss and weight loss you need to be at a calorie deficit um, easy way to track it is using the my fitness pal app oh my gosh it is so easy you could actually just scan everything you're eating and it works so well so my fitness pal is definitely a way to go and uh, make sure before you even start working out, you really, really need to figure out what your macros are. And you need to track that because what happens is, uh, you know, some people will just reduce their calories by, by so much. And when they do that, they don't know how to, how to beat that next phase. So I was 224 pounds. I got stuck at 112 pounds for a week. Well, I was able to, uh, figure out my my plan by subtracting a little bit more fat and a little bit more carbs in my diet and that helped me oversee that plateau so you're always gonna hit plateaus and if you don't track your macros your protein carbs and fat or if you don't track your workouts you're not gonna able to uh, figure out how to overcome those plateaus so please get your macros bodybuilding.com has a macro calculator 
Um, please uh, use MyFitnessPal and track your food. All right, here are some of those foods that I was talking about. I am just uh, Chef Boy Ardell, so I love cooking. You know, one of my favorite things to do, so uh, check them out. Sometimes you have to take your food on the go. So I got to pack two meals today for work. So what I got is I have some steak with rice and broccoli. And with that, I'm going to throw on two eggs. Um, I also have an omelet I will eat when I start my fast with guacamole sauce and then salsa with uh, eggs and egg whites. I got some oatmeal with some protein in it and powdered, uh, or in cinnamon, and uh, powdered peanut butter. Also, I got some phage 0% yogurt mixed in with some uh, granolas. So th those are always good. And then uh, I get some rice cakes today, and I also get a protein bar. So uh, yeah, sometimes it's gotta be like this. And literally, this took me, what, 10, 10 to 12 minutes to make. So not bad at all. All right, so let's talk about the gym, right? So we gotta go to the gym, uh, whether it's three times a week, four times a week, five times a week. Uh, when I first, the, the first 60 days, I was probably going about four or five times a week. Uh, the last four weeks, I've probably gone uh, about, you know, five to six times a week. Uh, at the gym, I think you gotta work harder and smarter. <laughs> and so both of them, right? Uh, you gotta work hard and you gotta work smart at the gym. I always uh, say is like, I wanna be the, the one that's working out the hardest at the gym and that's kind of the mentality that I have. So let's talk about weight training. So I, uh, I, I'm gonna play a video real quick and uh, that's gonna be me at the gym. So check this out. All right, we're here at the gym. Just wanna talk a little bit about the, the gym training. So reverse pyramid training, starting with your highest weight first, four to six reps. Uh, then go into six to eight reps, and then go into uh, 10 to 12, 12 reps on your final uh, set if you're doing three sets. Uh, reverse pyramid training uh, really helps you hit PRs, so personal record, so you'll you'll increase your weight, and that's the goal, to increase your weight over time to make sure that you're, you're getting those gains. So I personally, over the last three months, have been doing uh, your major muscle groups, which is your chest, your legs, and your uh, shoulders and uh, biceps, triceps, and back two times a month, two times a week. So two times a week to make sure that you're uh, working out those major muscle groups will also help you burn a lot of fat uh, in the gym. So uh, yeah, get it, get it. That's what I've been doing in the gym. All right, so that was me talking about weight training. There's also something really important, right? It's cardio. So when you're doing your cardio, there's a couple things that I, I, I do. Uh, so half the time uh, at the gym, I'll do burn, I'll burn calories with cardio, right? So I'll burn 300 calories every time I go to the gym when, I, when I'm going to do cardio. So one way I like to do it is the incline treadmill. So I set it to about 11 incline, and then also I set my speed, miles per hour, to about three. So three, three, three miles per hour, uh, 3.1 uh, miles per hour and 11 incline. And you might not start off there, you might have to work your way up to that, which is totally fine. Um, as long as you're tracking what you're doing and you know it, uh, you know your progress, that's what's most important. So uh, do your cardio at the gym, burn calories, don't worry about time. Like time doesn't do anything for you. If, I, if someone tells me they spend an hour on a treadmill, I'm gonna say how many calories did you burn? If they don't know that, then they don't know, they don't know what they're burning. They don't know uh, how their, you know, their, their calorie deficit is going. So definitely uh, do some cardio at the gym 
and uh, work on that weight training. So that was uh, the number three thing that I did. The last thing I want to talk about is supplements. So or not really supplements. So I don't really believe that you need a ton of supplements in a diet. So I just think there's a lot of foods that you could eat that really make make up for any supplements that you might need. Uh, so uh, a couple things that I, I've, I've been taking, I do take fish oil uh, because I don't like fish. <laughs> so uh, it's good for your skin, uh, it's good for your heart. So uh, I take two of these a day, uh, that's uh, 360 uh, milligrams a piece. Also, I do take a one a day vitamin. So this is a, a regular vitamin, has everything in it, A, B, C, D, all the, all the good healthy benefits of a vitamin. So I do that. And then also, I do supplement a little bit of protein in there. This is some whey protein. Um, I just go to Costco and I look at the nutrition label and I figure out if it has Low, low low carbs, low calories, low fat, and then uh, how much protein you're actually getting it. And it looks like this uh, muscle milk one was the best one I found so far. So, you know, I'll try new th stuff out. Um, not every day I need to use protein too, because if I eat a lot of high protein foods, you don't need to have the pro uh, the whey protein. It's all about hitting your macros. So if there's a day that, you know what, you're, you're not as close to hitting that, uh, you know, 200 or 220 grams of uh, protein that your goal is, uh, on my fitness pal, then you need to go get, you know, you need to use some protein in your diet. So those are the supplements, kind of non supplements that I use. Uh, so those are the four things that uh, I actually changed my lifestyle around and what really helped me get to this point that I'm at, uh, which is uh, worked out really well. All right, y'all. So uh, that is it. That's concluding the video. Uh, seriously, super excited about this video because uh, it's been hard work, but it's been fun. Uh, last 90 days, I, I put in that extra effort to uh, kind of like change my lifestyle and change my physique and really just better myself and uh, become a lot more healthy. And I really do uh, enjoy helping others too. So, you know, if anyone has any questions, please comment uh, on, on the page. Also, um, please like the, uh, the post if you like it. Uh, share it to all your friends, all your family, uh, through your social media. Uh, I want people to uh, able to get some support on any journey through weight loss, fat loss, muscle gains, things like that. Uh, because I think I have a pretty good routine. I think I have a, a pretty good idea of how uh, how you could actually um, you know help change your lifestyle and not change too much of what you actually do. So um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so you get any future updates from me. Um, anything else leave a comment like i said below and that is it so i am out have a good day everyone